Hey everybody! Today we're going to be making a ballot box out of a single sheet of letter sized paper. So to begin, we need to divide the vertical distance into fifths. So the way I like to do that is to start by approximating a fifth. So fold the bottom edge up to where you think a fifth might be from the top to the edge here and make a little pinch mark. I'm going to use a pencil to mark it. And then bring the bottom point to that pinch mark and do it again. Make another pinch mark. And rotate it and bring the lower right corner to the pinch mark again. Make a new pinch mark here. And one more time, bring the corner to the new pinch mark. Make a new pinch. So this is our first estimate. The next time we go through this, we're going to get even closer to the fifths. And you shouldn't have to do this more than three times. So again, start with the lower left corner and bring it up here. And this time we're going to bring it to the pinch mark. Make a new pinch. And we almost have a right on the money there. Let's try again. Bring this corner to the new pinch mark and make another pinch. So it's almost the same. Turn it over, bring it to the pinch mark, make another one, and finally bring the corner to the pinch, and make a new one in. We're pretty close, we're good. So I'm gonna stop here, we've got our fifths. Now what we wanna do is a horizontal crease along each of those areas here. So first we'll bring up the bottom edge to the pinch mark, Line up the edges, right and left, and crease all the way across. Now we're going to make the next crease, which will extend from this pinch all the way across. To do that, bring the edge to the farther pinch mark. Right up here. And unfold. Rotate. Bring this bottom edge to this pinch mark here. And unfold, then take this edge and bring it up to the farther pinch mark, farther crease here. And make another crease. So now we've got five equal sections. The next step is to create squares along the bottom and the top. So to do a square, we know that two right triangles make a square. So let's fold the corner up and fold the edge to the first crease mark. Make a pinch. And do the same on the right side. Make a pinch. So let's mark those. One, and two. Now we're going to rotate it and do the same thing down here. Bring the edge to the crease, make a pinch, and do the same thing on this side. The edge to the crease, make another pinch. All right. Now what we're going to do is rotate the paper now it's in landscape mode. We're going to crease, make a crease that connects these two pinch marks. So roll up the bottom. And looking at the paper here, we can see there is a, right here is where the crease intersects with the edge of the paper. Line up the vertical creases, one, two, three, four, five. Increase all the way across, open, and rotate, and do the same thing here. Connect these two pinch marks with a crease. So fold this edge up, line up the left edge and the creases, and unfold. All right, so now we've got five squares 
on this end and five squares up here. We're going to start with the squares down at this end. And what we're going to do is fold this corner up to this corner. So start one, one diagonal crease. Now we're going to do the same thing here from this corner to this corner, diagonal crease. First unfold this. Now we're going to fold the edge up so the edge lies along the crease line. And notice that this crease aligns with this crease here. And unfold. We're going to do it again from this corner to here. Line up the edge with the crease. And this it crease aligns with this crease here. And crease that diagonal from this corner down to here. And do the next one. Corner to corner. And unfold. And finally, the last one is from this corner to this corner. Notice that we're not creasing past that horizontal crease line. We're just doing the diagonal within the box itself in here. Okay. We have one more step to do with this set of boxes. Notice that these are all valley folds, the verticals between the boxes. We're going to change those to mountain folds. To do that, just simply lift up the paper and pinch those four little sections. And we're only going to pinch up to this area. There's two. And there's three. And there's four. And you'll see why we're doing this later on when we start to shape the box. Okay, we're pretty much done with this area. Now we're going to focus on this top area. So I'm going to rotate it all the way around to make it easier to fold. I like to fold away from me. Take this bottom edge and bring it to the crease. And crease all the way across. There we go. All right, so now we have, now what we want to do is put in some mountain folds that go diagonally, make a little pyramid shape. Notice we've got these verticals here, 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 and here. Between these verticals, we want to make a mountain crease starting in the center and extending down to each of those sides here. Here's one and two. So the easier way to do this, rather than trying to get this exactly right, turn it over to the other side, flip it around, and you're going to use the edge of this hem here as your starting point. Notice here it is, it lines up here with the underside of that hem, and you're going to start, you're going to line up this edge here, this edge of the hem, with this crease here. And there's one crease, and then we're going to do the same thing, the mirror image going this way. Line up, starting right here, and just crease that little diagonal right here. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Skip this middle one and do this one here. So the first step is to Fold this edge over like so, lining up this edge here, this crease here with this area, one, and the mirror image, two. All right, let's turn it back to this side. We've got our four mountain creases. Our last step here with this hem is to fold over the doubled up edge about an eighth of an inch all the way across. And you can start in the middle and you work your way to either end. I like to start in the middle, go to the right and then to the left. I try to make it as uniform as possible. We're going to be using this later on when we assemble our box. 
Now unfold that little 1 8 inch hem and leave this flap down. We're going to keep that down now and rotate it back. We've done all of our cre pre creasing now. So the next step is to turn it into a three dimensional shape. So to start, take the lower left corner. No new creases. All these creases are already there. Put that first corner in, and now we're going to lift up the paper off the table and start wrapping the sides around the box. So the next step is to pinch this mountain fold here, this diagonal, and then bring it around like so. So it overlaps the triangle underneath. So we've got two sides of our box now. One, two, let's put in the third side. Pinch the diagonal, lift and rotate around. You're going to have to lift up your thumb to hold everything in place. And if you need to pinch all the way down the sides, go ahead and do that. So now we've got one, two, three sides of our ballot box. And finally, take the last pinch here and bring it around, lift it, and overlap it. And now we've got four sides, one, two, three, four. And finally, the fifth one is going to tuck around and lock it. So let's look at it from this side here, this angle. We're going to pinch this corner, lift it up, and notice the sides come around. Now, if you have a letter opener or something, this helps. This is the pocket where we want to insert this triangular flap, and that locks the, the model together. So notice I'm lifting this triangle flap, putting it inside, and now if you look inside here, we have our box is almost fully assembled. Now if the flaps underneath, inside, are not laying flat, you can use a long object like a pencil, or a letter opener just to tap it down. Now we want to take this tab here. Notice this little flap. This will lock the whole thing together. This wraps around this flap here. So lift this up, tuck it inside, and push it in as far as it can go, nice and snug. Okay, so we've got our box shape. Now we're going to utilize this little lip here that we made way back when, before we assembled it into 3D. This will really lock it tightly so it won't come apart easily. So just go ahead and put those creases back in, turning that little lip side all the way around and around. There we go and pinch the sides just to reinforce. We're almost done. Notice now we've got these diagonal creases. This is when we did those mountain folds from the opposite side. This is our crease is already there. Just go ahead and push it inside like so. And let it pop out again. It doesn't matter. We're just putting a little memory into the paper so when we're ready to push it in on all the way inside, it'll go easily. Bring it back up again and rotate it. Do the same thing on this side. Here's our creases. Push it inside. And now we can push both of them inside at the same time. And it will lock. It'll stay closed just like that. Now notice these tabs, you can see them a little bit here. What you want to do is take a letter opener or something that's skinny that'll fit into the slot and push them against, press them against the side of the box. And they'll stay there. Pretty close. And there's your finished ballot box. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're successful in making it. Thanks for watching.